Hi folks, Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars in the Luthery Academy. Every time I get a guitar that I think is noteworthy, uh, that comes across my bench, I like to turn the camera on and talk about it. Case in point, this is a 1941 000-18 made by the Martin Guitar Company. And this guitar came to me from Hawaii. Now think back of your American history, 1941, Hawaii was a very happening place and Hawaiian music was very popular. Then came 1942 and the effects of Pearl Harbor. So this guitar was purchased in Hawaii and was in Hawaii during the Pearl Harbor attack. Uh, the history on this guitar, I asked the owner who is uh, about 70, 75 now, uh, where he got the guitar. He said his father originally purchased it in 1941 and probably it was purchased on credit at a local store there in Hawaii. They didn't have much money back then. They were uh, living uh, by planting uh, pineapple and other uh, agricultural endeavors. And he said they would go to the local general store every week or every month, whatever it was, and they would pay off the previous bill and then purchase the, the next uh, timeline of supplies every week or month or whatever on credit. And he says, I'm pretty sure that this guitar was purchased on credit at that general store. And then 1942 came around and the world kind of went nuts there for a while. But the instrument is actually was actually in great condition. It came to me because it needed a neck reset and new frets. And when I said it needed a neck reset, it needed a pretty serious neck reset. Somebody had taken the saddle and ground it all the way down to the actual bridge, and there was no brake angle whatsoever. And the frets were in very poor condition. They were original. So I did a, a pretty serious neck reset, got the saddle back where it needs to be, pulled all the frets out, removed the fretboard during the process, uh, installed a couple of more dots here on the fretboard that had disappeared, installed new frets, a nice Brazilian uh, rosewood fretboard, and got it playable again. I was able to salvage the original nut, and of course I had to put in a new saddle back here. And because the uh, angle was so drastic that I had to correct, and then I shimmed under the fretboard to help level that out a little bit. Uh, from what I can tell, the uh, pit guard and the uh, tortoise shell uh, bindings are original. They have not shrunk. Maybe that's due to the amount of humidity in uh, Hawaii. Who knows? The original finish is on there. Of course, it's, uh, it's seen some, uh, some play time. It, uh, it's starting to show wear and tear. Uh, the only problem with this instrument, before it came to me, there was some repair work done on it. The, the gentleman that sent it to me said when he was a teenager, he took it to the beach, didn't know what he had, and somebody kicked a hole in the side of it. So uh, there you go. There's a, a hole in the, in the side of the instrument. Other than that, the instrument is in great condition and it sounds wonderful, very uh, warm and very responsive like you would expect a 1941 Martin to sound like. Very warm, very responsive. Nice, warm, low end, kind of lends itself well to the boom chuck kind of thumping bass kind of music like this. Walking bass kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy building. Merry Christmas 2022 to everybody.